Erin Spain, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing this modern dining room makeover with you. This is a room I was so excited to make over. It's something I've been planning for a very long time. This is what the space looked like several years ago when we moved into this house. And then slowly over time it evolved into this, which wasn't bad. It just wasn't really my style anymore. So I wanted to just bring the space up to date and modernize it a bit. So that's what I'm sharing with you today. I'll be sure to link to everything I used in the room in the description box below. And if you have any questions, for me please leave those in the comment section if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon all right let's get started this room had become Lego central in our house I have three little boys and they are Lego obsessed so this somehow became the spot where they did all of their building so the first step was to manage that situation and relocate the Lego construction site to the playroom The next step was clearing out the space. So I waited for a weekend when my kids were out of town and I could tackle this without interruption and I just cleared it all out and got rid of all the junk. I removed the mirror and all the photos and artwork from the walls and prepped for painting. By the way, I got that fiddle leaf fig tree recently at Home Depot, and if you know me at all, then you know it was a terrible decision because I can't keep plants alive for the life of me, but I really am going to try. So, so far, so good. Next, I patched over nail holes with spackle and then sanded it smooth when it dried. I actually like the existing paint color in here, which is Benjamin Moore's Nocturnal Gray. It's sort of a deep bluish greenish gray that changes depending on the lighting, but I had a different vision for the space, so I painted over it with Bear Marquee color match to Benjamin Moore's Nightfall. It's sort of a deep blue-black charcoal combo. I always use a small angle brush to cut into corners and along the edges, and then I go back in with a roller. After the room had been painted, it was time to move the table so I could swap out the rug. By the way, I built that buffet table that you see pushed against the wall, and I'll go ahead and link to the video for that. I recruited a little bit of help for this part, as you can see. And by the way, I cannot begin to tell you how many little tiny Lego pieces I found whenever we moved the rug or whenever I moved a piece of furniture. It's like they were multiplying in real time. I teamed up with Mohawk Home for this room makeover and they sent me this new rug, which I will link to below. Next, we swapped out the light fixture with this mid-century style Sputnik chandelier. I had help installing this because it definitely helps to have an extra set of hands. And it's an easy DIY, but if it's something you're not comfortable with, you can definitely hire an electrician to do this part for you. This light fixture was super affordable and I love it, so I will definitely link it for you. After the new light was installed, I assembled the new chairs that I bought. These were super budget friendly and I've linked them for you below. I actually got them from Target and I'm always a little nervous ordering furniture online without seeing it in person, but I've done it several times and I've never been overly disappointed. I was unsure about these chairs at first, but once I had them all assembled and put them around the table, I actually really liked them. And of course I had a cute little assistant helping me put them together. I do feel like if you have pets, I could see pet hair sticking to this fabric, so that's just something to consider, but you definitely can't beat the price. I built the dining table and the benches that were in here before, and I did that before I had my YouTube channel, so I will link to the blog tutorial for those below. 
For now I'm replacing the benches with chairs, but we always have the option to swap it out again later on. Next it was time to reposition the table and put the top back on. I ordered a mirror for the room, which I hung above this buffet table, which like I mentioned, I built it and there is a tutorial linked for you. And it's painted the same color as the walls, which is Nightfall by Benjamin Moore, but it's color matched in Bear Marquee paint. Since I was doing this all on a budget, I decided to make my own art. I built a large canvas out of one by two boards and a drop cloth and then made some abstract art. I already shared a video on this process, so I'll link to that. I used the exact same technique, but I altered the dimensions a bit and added a brown accent color as a middle layer. And I also made a frame for it using one by twos, which I spray painted gold. This is a super easy and inexpensive way to create your own custom artwork because art can be really expensive. So if you're decorating on a budget, DIYing your own is the way to go. I hung the art using a wall anchor and a screw. I didn't add any special picture hanging hardware or anything like that. I also ordered a pair of plug-in wall sconces, which I hung on each side of the abstract art. I found these on Amazon and they are currently sold out, but if they come back in stock, I'll definitely link those in the description for you. I also ordered a piece of art for the wall opposite the mirror, and I haven't gotten that yet. I'm having it framed, so I will share that on Instagram when it comes. Okay, I got this pair of lamps online from Home Depot and they also sell them on Amazon. I am obsessed. This was exactly what I was looking for for this space. I wanted a pair of really modern looking lamps and I wanted them gold and these were perfect. I decided I wasn't loving those chairs in here so I swapped them out for some simpler, more modern ones. I am so happy to finally have this room finished. I'm sure I will update it here and there just because that's what I do all the time, but I'm really happy with it. And now for the outtakes and click the bell icon and subscribe. Wait, if I already said that. <laughs> I'll also link to the <laughs>